there's remnants of this to me that have a little of that Tom Brady edge, right? And I know it's easy to do the Tom Brady comparisons because both guys are donning Patriot uniforms and, you know, the young stages of their career. But when he says not really to me and then he goes into coaches speak, I think the not really is the edge that you want from your quarterback, right? Now, is he going to sit there and say, yeah, I've always planned to beat out Cam Newton? No. But at the same time, he's confident. And if we know anything as being rookies coming into the league, Key, you have to have some kind of swag about you. You have to have some kind of air about you to make veterans believe in your skill set. Now, I know this from being a point guard. It was a challenge for me initially to win people over, to tell other grown men what they needed to do and where they needed to be, to get them to buy into how I wanted to lead. So for Mac Jones, I think saying not really goes to show you the edge is there, but then the coach's talk goes to say, hey, I also have a lot to learn here, and I'm not saying I know it all, but I do know what I bring to the table each and every damn day, and I think that edge is important for him to be successful. You're an edge, Key. So here I go. What, what else was he supposed to say? I mean, he could have said right? nothing, Key. He could have given I mean, you coaches talk the whole time, like, you know, yeah, I just but, came here, work. But confidence-wise, what he's supposed to say? He's supposed to say, oh, I expected to start the entire time because I know what I'm doing and I know what I bring to the table. He's supposed to carry that type of confidence, and there's no question about it. So when he said that, I didn't. I was like, oh, okay. I, I understand. He was picked 15th in the first round. Typically, when you pick 15th in the first round, you're probably going to start. That's probably going to be the case, and especially if you're putting in the work. It clearly, they felt enough confidence in him that he was putting in the work that they named him the starter. You don't see that all the time, where guys come in and not ready to go. Coming from Alabama and playing for Nick Saban certainly helps him be ready because this team is poised to make a strong run in the AFC. Yes, Cam Newton, in my opinion, probably would have been best served to be the starting quarterback. But I'm not there every single day. Bill Belichick is there and Josh McDaniels is there every day. They're in the classroom. They understand what Mac Jones is doing on the board. Is he transferring the information to the field and disputing, uh, dis distributing that to the players in the huddle? He probably was. That's why they made a decision that no matter whether it was COVID or whatever the case factored into the decision to let Cam go, that decision was made. They felt comfortable enough to go into week one against the Miami Dolphins in a tough defense with a rookie quarterback and said, okay, he gives us the best chance to win. That's that's what uh, it see, was. I think it was a big deal. I mean, his comment, like I'm his comment is whatever. I agree with Key here, Jay, only because what he's really saying is you always prepare like you're going to like, why wouldn't you prepare? Absolutely. Every player should prepare Absolutely. like you're going to play. So that, and I get you, it's confident. He's saying all the right things, but he's also, it's from the, you know, playbook of what you're supposed to say. I agree with that. But it's interesting to me because Key, I do, I do think he beat Cam out. And I was with you. If I was Belichick, I'd start the veteran quarterback who's been to a Super Bowl. I do the same thing in San Francisco, right? Start the veteran, start Garoppolo. He's been to a Super Bowl. And then you but bring see, the young guy along. But hold on. He, my point about Mac Jones beating him out is I hear what you're saying. He's picked 15th in the first round. When has Belichick ever used a first-round pick on a quarterback, right? That tells you a lot. But key, Bill Belichick with a Super Bowl-ready roster, you would think, is going to select a rookie to try to take you there? Isn't that don't, wouldn't that have to mean he beat out the veteran since no rookie has ever taken a squad to the Super Bowl, not even ever gotten there? I got to think he legit beat him out. You got to you got to take everything and, and look at it, right? You got to what's the context of him beating him out? Mm -hmm. Did he just mm -hmm. flat out roll him up? No. He didn't. And I'm not going to sell it that way. I'm not going to say sit roll him on up. National television and just say, oh, he beat him out. That's, it was not a beat out. It was a decision made by the staff and the head coach to go with the best guy that they felt gives them the best chance to win at that particular moment in time. But that's now, a beat here's out. What I, but here's what I would say. Well, there's a lot of factors in that, though, Max. It ain't just he beat him out. There's some other stuff there now. Uh, I, I, there's some other stuff there. Now, what I would say is, as they made this decision, as Belichick put on his thinking cap, they looked at young Tom Brady, and they said, we got a defense. We can run the ball. We got two tight ends. I understand what we're going to do. We can methodically, as I talked about earlier, about winning a championship for the Cleveland Browns. They are taking that model where you're not going to screw things up for us. 
We're going to play defense, run the football, and we're going to allow you to make a handful of throws. We want you to be 15 to 17, a buck 89 and a touchdown, and we're going to win. That's what the model is going to be. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.